Here at Halo Merchant Services, we consult with thousands and thousands of churches in North America. We understand the problems that your church or your congregation is facing. We understand how hard it is to be able to communicate with the people that come in to service on Sunday or Saturday or over the weekend and then throughout the week are out there in the world. Some hard facts, four to 7,000 churches are closing their doors each and every single year. Although 40% of people report that they regularly attend church, in reality, only 20% of the population actually does. What about your members? Has your congregation been growing? Has it been stagnant? Has it even been declining? Regardless, no matter the situation that you're in, it's likely the number of donations that you're getting on a monthly basis is not nearly what you would want it to be. What about some new strategies? What about a transformation in 2015 where you took and started utilizing better communication tools, better techniques and strategies to start growing your congregation in a way that you never thought possible? That kind of transformation is upon us. Over the course of the next few days, leading up to a huge educational webinar that we've got coming up, I'm going to be talking about and teaching about multiple problems facing churches today and some easy answers to help solve some of those problems. One of the big problems today in churches is the level of distractions. And I'm not just talking about when they're actually sitting in the congregation. There's distractions that cause them not even to attend. Oftentimes, habits start to grow. I miss Sunday. It makes it very easy to miss the following Sunday. And then, if you don't have very good communication tools in place, it becomes even easier to miss the following Sunday. And now a new habit is formed. And now all of a sudden, we haven't seen someone for the last three months. What do you do in that type of a situation? Better communication tools can help bring those people back. How many times have you heard this? 152 million Americans log into Facebook every single day. Is your congregation out there coming to your website every single day? Are they reading any information that you're putting out there every single day? Are they reading passages that you want them to read? How can you make that happen? How can we take, and, and a lot of people say, go and create a Facebook page, and then post content on your Facebook page. And then, your, and then all of your people that are checking in on Facebook will see it. Unfortunately, the studies are out there that the content that you're putting out there on your social media page will not get served to more than about 5% of everybody in your congregation. Thus, they're not even seeing a lot of the things that you're putting out there. Over half of your congregation still doesn't even log in on a daily basis. That being said, am I saying that social media is out? Quite the contrary. In fact, one of the things that we'll be teaching about is how do you utilize engagements to be able to, as soon as your congregation walks out the door, what if we could get 75% of them to immediately write on your Facebook wall? And when that happens, all of their friends see those communications and a viral component is started and more people see that conversation and they join in on that conversation and now people start to grow. How do you make that happen? Another problem, reaching the youth in your congregation today. We know today that 72% of youths participate in sporting events. Many of those sporting events now translate into the weekends and they're taking up time when we previously, the family would have been going to church. Now they're on the soccer field on the weekends. They're at the softball tournaments and they're missing church. You know what else you're missing? The donations from those people. What if you could get some of those donations on days when they're not even in attendance? How can you communicate with them and still get them the messages that they need so that they do not lose the habit of coming into church? How can you even get them to bring in new families when they do come back? By staying in front of them, by continuing the communication, by using multiple channels of communication. That's some of the education that we'll be bringing you in the coming days. So what can you do? Well, the good news is Halo is here to help educate you and bring you some new pieces of not just education, but technology that can help you connect with your congregation, with your members, after they walk outside of church on Sunday. We're going to teach you strategies and bring you technology that will help your members reach out and witness to others about what's going on, about the ministry that you're bringing, and then bring new people in on Sundays. We're going to get your donations to go up. We're going to get extra donations on a monthly basis and actually start improving your revenues. And bonus, we can help reduce some of the spending that you're doing currently on paper and ink by going digital with a lot of the different things that we do. Watch for us in the coming days. You can click the link below now and register for 
on one of our upcoming free educational webinars. During that educational webinar, we'll be unveiling some of the techniques that we'll be teaching, plus some of the actual technology that you can use, and I say technology, but it's super easy to use, that can start the communication with your congregation and take your communication outside the walls of your ministry. Start bringing in new families. 2015, the year for transformation. Click the link now, go ahead and register for the webinar, and you'll be seeing more of this soon. Talk to you soon.